Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. This is coming to you from Montclair Country Club, and uh, I'm playing from the tips at 6,100 yards. That's correct. I said the tips um, because it's not a long course at all. It's the first time that I've ever played this, so I I actually have a pretty good front nine. Sorry if I'm spoiling it, but and, and then I just absolutely fall apart in the back. Um, I'm going to blame it on course knowledge and never have played this, but buckle up, tune in, hope you like this video. I'm not going to commentate as much, just going to let the flow go. Um, I'll chime in here and there, but hope you enjoy. So here's a good example of how not knowing the course I think cost me a stroke. So I take a conservative route and just hit it straight towards the fairway. But if you want to get really aggressive, you can cheat it and cut that corner. Um, even though it looks like it's a lot of rough in the mini map, it actually looked pretty flat. I don't know if, if they changed it, but you definitely could have gone there. It looks like we have a bunker under construction. I'm just gonna give myself a free drop, just kind of behind it. Maybe just, there you go. Fully aware this is a weird camera angle, but uh, the way the tee box was, there was like nowhere to put it. It was like a huge drop off behind me. So I don't know, pretty cool, I guess. Gonna go ahead and confirm, um, that's a chunky monkey for you. 131 out and a nice chunky monkey. Ah, gotta be better than that, Mark. Well, pretty good shot if you ask me. Let's just speed this up. Oh, actually, it's kinda long. We're giving it to me. Yikes. If you ever end up playing it, this hole will probably stick out to you just like it did for me. It is absolutely gorgeous. I think there was like a 75, 80 feet drop off. It was elevated tee boxes and a really, really cool tee shot um, hitting down into it. Let's try this again. Hey, Mark, it's a gimme, right? Yeah, Mark, it's definitely a gimme. Yeah. What's worse than a chunky monkey? Oh, it's the complete cold shank. God, good one, Mark. 
Although in my defense, I did replace my hybrid with a four iron, so it's the first time I'm using a longer iron. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, when I do connect, it's fantastic, but when you don't, you get one of those, so yikes. So of course here I am after the turn, two over, think I'm going low, and you start off with a cold shank right off the toe. That's a toey shank from the driver. Luckily I get away with it because it's a really short hole, so I still have like six iron in, but, but it's definitely not ideal. All right, uh, this is a par three. I think it's playing 236. Yeah, that's the pin. That's correct, 236. Oh boy, wish me luck. So I find it interesting that it's a really short course. It's like 6,100 yards in the tips. Oh boy, um, that's just a shank. That's what happens when you try to swing a four iron as hard as you can. But anyway, I was saying like, it's funny how it's 6,100 yards in the tips, but then they just throw two PGA tour holes on here where you have a 235, 236, and then a, a 225 ish one earlier where I'm just swinging four iron as hard as I can and hoping for the best. I guess that's fun. Oh yeah. I was really excited to see a straightforward par three, but if you look closely, you see those branches and uh, the leaves. It's it's very subtle, but it changes your shot completely. I had to play super left. You see me line up to the left of the tee box, and if you can play a cut, I guess you'd do it. But I didn't really trust to cut with these new clubs but anyway little things like that is what makes this course really hard um just chop chop the tree down the entire tree ah oh, the texas wedge let me down Sigh. This hole, as I was reflecting back on, is absolutely conical. It's just a collection. The tracer makes it look a lot better, but that was like a pull hook shank that gets caught up in the rough. Um, and then you're going to have a shitty second shot, a shitty third shot, but I somehow have a putt for par. So, yeah, I guess it's uh, not about how you drive. It's about how you arrive. But, oh, man, this is like a hole I wish I could just take back. Should have just edited it out and say that my camera malfunctioned this entire time, but here we are, putt for par. And this might actually be the shot of the day. So if you look, the ball's really below my feet in the rough. At about 128, I think it was, I took an 8-iron, which is like my 160 club. 
I choke down like crazy and I somehow punch it on. Unfortunately, it rolled off just to the fringe, but the fact that I'm putting, um, again, tooting my own horn here, but that was a really, really good shot that I'm proud of. So sitting at nine over, it puts me at an 80 live score. Anytime I play a new course, I would love, I always try and would love to break 80. So basically all I need is a, uh, is a birdie. And I know that sounds tough, but it's actually, it's a par five that isn't too crazy. Um, you know, just string a couple shots together and just give me a putt, give me a look at it. And I would love the opportunity to break, uh, break 80, it'd be awesome. All right, and here we go. Mark, just don't leave it short. Give it a chance. Uh, let's get it. Oh, at least we didn't leave it short. Uh, so that, that puts us exactly at an 80 on the nose. Um, not, not that mad for how I played. I, I think I played good enough to break 80, and I think if I play this course again, I think I can. Obviously, that's what everyone always says when they don't. But um, yeah, hope you liked it. Until next time, and hopefully I'll do a part two on this course with some knowledge now.